Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate um, Canvas with Alex and how you can do your gradebook syncing. So you're first going to start in Canvas. So go ahead and log into your Canvas account and find your course shell for the specific course. So right now I am actually in the course that I want. Um, and then I'm going to go down here to the left side of my screen and you're going to scroll all the way down until you see the settings tab. On the settings tab, you're going to go over to the navigation tab in the middle. And you're going to scroll all the way down until you find the Alex um, integration. In this case, mine is going to be called Alex Internal Demo Deep Linking, um, but yours will likely just be called Alex or Alex LTIA or something of that sort. Um, so if you scroll down and you don't see the exact one that I'm on, it's probably a good thing. It's usually just called Alex. Um, so once you bring it up to the top to enable it, I always like to drag it close to the top so that students know where to find it. Um, then you need to scroll down and hit this save button at the bottom. Once it's saved, you'll see that Alex tool now on the left side of your screen in your navigation. And all you're gonna need to do to pair your course is just click on it. Once you click on it, as long as your pop-up blockers are disabled, you'll have this new window pop up. If you don't see a new window popping up, it's likely because you have pop-up blockers on and you need to shut those off. Um, and you can usually find that at the top um, in, your, in your bar up here. It'll say something about your pop-up blockers and you should be able to click it and turn it off. The very first thing that you will likely see is it's going to ask if you have an instructor account. It's not asking me right now because I'm already logged in once before, but if you've never logged in from Canvas, it will likely ask you to log into your instructor account in Alex. You'll want to choose the option to say, yes, I have an instructor account. Most of the time, um, we will create the instructor accounts for you and you'll get prompted with um, a username to log in and set your password. So if you do not know your login name or your password, um, you can always reach out to one of us at McGraw-Hill and we will um, send that to you and send over that information. If you know your username but you forgot your password, you can just use the forgot password tool. Um, and then it will likely not be the case that you'll need to create a brand new account. Um, you should be using one that's existing for you. Once you get your login um, and you're logged in, the next screen will look like this one. So it'll um, ask you which course that you want to pair with, and you will want to likely, again, choose an existing course. If you've set up a course or if we've set up a course for you or you're linked to like a master template at your institution, um, you'll want to choose this existing class option and choose from the drop down list. I'm going to choose this one for today that I have created. Um, but again, you likely will not be choosing new class. Most people set up their course first in Alex and then they go to pair. So you're probably not going to want to choose new class. You're probably going to want to choose from that drop down menu. And then to pair it, all you have to do is just hit continue and you should be good to go and you're paired. So it'll tell you, tell you that you're securely prepared, sorry, securely paired. And then you'll go into your Alex class dashboard and you have one more step in order for your grade book to actually sync over. So if you just want to pair without your grade syncing over, you are all set. But if you want your grade book to sync over, you have one last step of hovering over the word grade book, going to the grade book setup page, which is the middle option. You'll need to set the categories um, accordingly. And then you'll come down here and the last thing you want to do is the default is that this is turned off. Um, so the last thing you'll want to do is actually check this box on to synchronize grades and add direct links. And then you have the option of either synchronizing after the assignment due date. So all of the students grades will come at once or you can do it on submission, meaning that after every student submits, it will sync over that individual students grades. So it's up to you for that second setting, which one you want to turn on. For the assignment syncing, for the direct linking to work so that um, students can just click the link within um, Canvas and it takes them directly to their assignment within Alex, you'll need to choose the correct categories from this drop down list. It's giving me some suggestions because I've already done this before, um, but yours will likely look like this. This is the default with nothing selected. I would go in here and select anything that you have in your course. So if you have homework assignments in your course, if you have tests, um, if you have modules, that kind of thing. If we have created a prerequisite module, um, you'll definitely want to turn on that module one so that the prerequisite review will come through. So make sure you pick the categories where you want those individual assignments to actually flow into Alex and create those direct links. The last option you have is if you want your a total score from Alex to synchronize over, you can always select that option and go um, down here to decide on the points and the name of it. We likely see most people bringing over the individual grade, so not a total grade, but I know some people like to bring over the total grade instead or as well as the individual grades. So you have that option on there as well. 
For the direct linking, for Canvas users, they'll automatically flow through. So you guys won't have to worry about um, setting those up manually. So um, when you go back to Canvas, once you click Save, when you go back to Canvas, it won't show it right now because um, it's going to take a few minutes to sync over. But in my Canvas account, when I go back to that assignments page, I will then see the list of assignments that I have created in that Alex course will now link um, over into Canvas as a direct link. So it will say something like prerequisite review module or it might say homework one or whatever I have it named in Alex. It will then come over as assignment links. Um, into Canvas. So again, it'll just take a few minutes to sync over, so I'm not going to wait for that on this video because I'm trying to keep it short. Um, but if you have any questions, of course, feel free to reach out and let us know. But that's how you integrate with Canvas and Gradebook Sync.